Hi, good morning. I am Jay Shakti Prakash. I am pursuing my MBA in RIT School of Business Management. First, I would like to thank Dr. Sundara Pandey and Nadrajan sir to giving this wonderful opportunity to explain the documentary of leadership excellence. I'm pushing against what is a natural institutional trend. Any large company, government, any organization is going to tend to become risk adverse over time as it becomes longer lived and bigger more successful. Bigger and older. Bigger and older. Therefore, you've got to push against it as the CEO. You've got to keep driving uh, for people to look outside and see what's happening to the consumer, what's happening to the customer. Take more risk because in the end, if they don't, you, you tend to retreat. So my job is to keep pushing. Before going to talk about Mr. James Robert Quincy, let me say a small history behind the multinational company Coke. We are known Coca Cola Company is one of the biggest beverages and a successful running company. It is formed in 1886 in Atlanta as a beverage of formal drink industry. Later, it is purchased in a successful businessman as the Gings Crandall who introduced it is a carbonated soft drink in the market and led to marketing tactics related to Coke to Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola company is first entered in India through its wholly owned subsidiary, the Coca-Cola Indian Private Limited and it is launched in 1993. Let me tell about a wonderful man and since he entered the company to now, how he keeps the company running successfully. Mr. Quincy was born on 8th January in 1965. He lived in 3 years and then he and his father moved to Birmingham at the age of 5. He attended the schooling in King Edward School in England. He did degree of electronic engineering from the University of Liverpool in England. Into his career, after his degree completion, he initially worked a small con consultancy team along with Brain and Co. He wants to improve his knowledge and skills, so he decided to move the Coca-Cola company. He was joined uh, as a various portion of the company to be contributed to various parts in the world uh, such as uh, Latin America and Mexico etc. From 2008 to 2012, he was the president of Northwest Europe and Nordic Business Unit. In 2013 to 2015, he was elected by as the president of Europe Group of Coca-Cola Company. In 2013 to 2015, he continued to lead to the Coca-Cola company to expand the brand portfolio and improve market share. In August 2015, Coke made him a chief operating officer and later he became the president of the group. Before becoming a CEO, Mr. Quincy served as the president and chief operating officer of the company from 2015 to 2017. He changed, to ma ma he changed the management and the entire Coke hierarchy and outlined a plan. Finally, Mr. Quincy is named as the CEO of the company in December 2016 and he took the entire responsibility of the company. He lead the company with a clear vision and started a plan of action towards growth of the company as soon as he became the CEO. One of the first acts of the CEO was to reduce 1,200 corporate positions as part of the plan to invest in new products and marketing. He stored that year's revenue and profit growth from 4 to 6%. Quincy planned to transform the company's culture from the being of over cautiousness of risk concern. He intended to diversify the Coke's portfolio by accelerating investment as a startup businesses. Later, he planned a basic of bottle of every bottle sold by 2013. In April 24, 2019, he elected the chairman of the board and worked towards making the 
the company is more sustainable and the brand has been launched the plan of raising of the bottle or every bottle sold by 2030. In December 2021, Quincy announced their plan discontinuation of many slower selling products such as zinc coconut water and tab etc. In our India there are officially there are 24 bathing plants of the Coca-Cola. Now Quincy was continuing his journey and he bringing evaluation of the beverage company. Thank you.